so today's video is going to be a Lush haul. I am so excited to do this video. Um, I don't have a whole heap of stuff and most of it is bath, actually all of it is bath stuff, but I love watching Lush hauls so I figured I would do it anyway and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So if you want to see what I purchased from Lush then just keep on watching. So first up they send you a little Merry Christmas little catalogue so that you can see everything that Lush is coming out with for Christmas or has already come out with for Christmas. So I like getting these, they smell like amazing because they've been in a bag with or in a box with Lush stuff so obviously it smells so good. They also give you the option to have a free magazine which shows you all of their products um, and has a few little articles in it on things that Lush believes in, all of that kind of good stuff. So of course I wanted a free you know, little magazine that I could read. Um, so yeah, those things to start with. So digging straight on in, uh, the first thing I can see, I got a Northern Lights bath bomb. So this is what it looks like in this packaging here. So this is a purple bath bomb, which is my favorite color. Had to get this one. Um, it smells amazing. It smells really, really, really freaking good. I wish you guys had smell a vision uh, This one says, This magical bath bomb invokes images of a lit up night sky, spinning color through your bath as you melt into a world of mystery and wonder. Myra Flackles, don't be so rude. So this one's main uh, like ingredients are Jasmine Absolute, yang, Ylang Ylang, I think that's how you pronounce that. So those are the top two fragrances in this and it just smells absolutely amazing. It smells quite warm and but still fresh at the same time. A little bit floral but not overly floral. Um, and then inside it's got one yellow side and one blue side. So I'm assuming that when it melts in your bath it's going to have a mixture of different colours. So that's really cool. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to try this one because I've never had it before, obviously, because I think it's new. Next one I got is a bubble bar, which if you don't know, the bath bombs you just put in whole into your bath um, and they just fizz up and make your bath bubbly and smell really good. Um, but the bubble bars are actually my favourite because you can crumble them, um, so you can break off little bits at a time depending on how sweet and like intense you want your bath to be or you can just use a little bit if you just want like you know casual bath I don't know so I got the comforter which I don't know if you guys know this but it's my all-time favorite Lush product um so it looks like this it's pink and white in like swirls oh, I have an itchy though uh, this one is just so divine it's really quite sweet it's sweet and kind of almost vanilla -y. um I just love it so much. So this one's explained as this bubble bar wraps you in a fluffy pink blanket of blackberry bubbles to keep you safe and warm. And I I am just obsessed with this one. I could get between four and six bars out of this one bubble bar because obviously it is quite big. I think these ones are about eleven dollars, so they're a little bit more. Um, but they're completely worth it because you do get a lot more bars out of them, whereas the bath bombs you use one in one bath so yeah the next one I got was another that I've had before and it is the butterball bath bomb this one's just a little baby one it smells like cocoa butter and like chocolatey yumminess oh I love, love love this one it feels so luxurious when you have a bath with it this one's really good for like moisturizing your skin if you have dry sensitive kind of skin I love this so if my skin ever feels super dry which a lot of the time it does I will use one like butterball because it just like makes your skin feel so soft and hydrated so this one says tiny slivers of cocoa butter melt in with a vanilla and ylang ylang bath guaranteed to really soften you up so yeah as I said it's mainly like a cocoa butter kind of fragrance one Next one I got is out of the Christmas collection and it is the Mistletoe Bath Bomb. So this one says a dizzy, dizzy, oh my god, 
dizzyingly romantic, sweet as kisses bundle of heady jasmine and sultry vetivert, vetivert. Begin your festive romance. Drop in your bath, it's perfect for sharing. Um, so this one's like pink and it's got little green bits and white bits on the end. Assuming that's meant to be mistletoe. Don't really look like mistletoe, but that's okay because it smells really nice. This one's quite like, as it explained, a heady jasmine smell. Like it's really quite strong, strongly scented. But it is beautiful. I feel like this would be a good nighttime, like, relaxing, romantic y kind of bath bomb. I don't know. So, yeah, of course, I had to get, like, at least one Christmas bath bomb. I did get another Christmas bath bomb, which I'll show you in a sec, but I do really love the smell of this. I actually feel like this would be a really nice perfume if someone had a perfume that smelled like this. It smells really, really good. So yeah, the mistletoe bath bomb, that one is called. The other Christmassy bath bomb I got is called the Luxury Lush Pad. Actually, is this a Christmas one? Do you know what? I have a feeling it's not. Do you know what? Let's just refer back to my little, my little book. And see what I said, day. Eh? Oh, it is a Christmas one. Pardon me. Oh, yes, it does. It has a little baby, like, um, Christmas flower sitting on the top. Pardon me. So, this one says, If you need a little help drifting off to the land of Nod, just pop this rainbow-coloured treat into your bath and get ready to float away. So, as you can see, half of it is white, half of it is pink, and it's got all sorts of coloured dots on it, so I reckon this would make a beautiful coloured bath. Oh, I should have been reading out of this magazine because it actually tells you, like, the good explanation of the scent. Well, this one is explained as a calming lavender scent with soothing pastel colours that float atop the water. And generally with Lush Bath Bombs, like how it's got the little... I don't know if that's not mistletoe, but it's got, like, that little Christmassy plant that is always on Christmas things. Um, generally with those kinds of things, they do float along the top of the water, they don't dissolve, so I like little touches like that. So, yeah, I like the smell of this one a lot. It is lavendery, but it also smells a little bit cocoa-y and vanilla -y, and it's like a perfect combination. Then, last year I actually picked up the Night Before Christmas box set, so Lush does the most amazing box sets. I did actually buy a different one that I have sitting over there. It is for someone, someone in my friends or family, you know, I don't know who yet, but I don't know. Oh, should I show it? Should I show it? I'm going to show it to you guys. I'm not going to open it, but I'm going to show it to you and just tell you what's in it. But I'll finish doing the rest of my things first. I'm an idiot and I already opened it because I just got so excited. But this is what the wrapping paper looks like. Um, I'm obsessed with this. I'm keeping it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm keeping it. It's like got moons and stars and it's got Santa on his sleigh with his reindeer riding across the night sky delivering presents on Christmas Eve. I love it. I love it. This one this year came with two bath bombs and I was really glad it came with Twilight because I wanted to buy Twilight separately and they were sold out of it. So luckily this was already in the gift set that I wanted to get. So because these two bath bombs came in a pack, it doesn't actually tell me anything about them. So I'm just going to find the Twilight info. So Twilight says, unwind with a lullaby of calming lavender oil and sweet tonka absolute. I've got no idea what this sweet tonka absolute is, but it's in quite a lot of my favorite bath bombs and like products so um I like it whatever the hell it is this just oh this smells so good to me I probably this is probably one of my favorites I mean the comfort is my favorite bubble bar but this is probably my favorite bath bomb it is amazing 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 I love the smell of this one so much and the color of it too like the purple lover's dream and then the other bath bomb that comes in the Night Before Christmas set is Shoot for the Stars. So it's this beautiful, beautiful bright blue with gold stars on it. Um, looks amazing. It's going to make the most beautiful blue coloured bath. 
And this one says, be guided home by starlight with this enchanting toffee bomb. As soon as I read the word toffee, I was like, oh my god, I'm there, I need it, put it in my basket. It's going straight in my basket. <laughs> this smells absolutely divine, like sweet, toffee, honeycomby, like, ah, uh, I don't know. Oh, it just smells so good, trust me guys. You need to go and smell this. You need to go and smell this, it is amazing. So those are the two bath bombs that came in the Night Before Christmas set. And then because, I'm assuming because I spent quite a bit, I spent just under $100, they sent me two little freebies. So I got this one called Outback Mate. I kind of feel like this is one that's exclusive to Australia because I can't imagine any Americans saying this. It says, Crikey Mate. Celebrate the Outback with this zingy blend of eucalyptus, lemongrass, and peppermint. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just like a little bar. Maybe it's soap? If anyone knows what this is, please do tell me. Again, it's called Outback, mate. It does smell quite good. It smells quite fresh and like, I don't know. Yeah, quite refreshing. So, don't know what it is. That, that's my problem with Half of Lush stuff, is I don't know what it is. I'm always like, what do I do with it? How do I use it? Help. But um, they're really good in stores always. Like, I would have gone in store if I could. I just haven't had time to get there. And the store closest to me is still like 45 minutes away to an hour away, depending on traffic. So... I just haven't really gotten the time to go. But I love that they throw in little freebies when you order online anyway. Um, and then the other little freebie I got actually tells me what it is. So it's the Rose Jam Self-Preserving -pre Shower Gel. Oh, why could I not Plur, spit that out? So it's just a little tub of this shower gel. Uh, it says, inspired by our love for roses and the benefits of nourishing argan oil, this shower gel is a decadent is as decadent as it gets. Skin brightening goji berry juice and silicon lemon give your skin a boost while rose oil and rose, it just says while rose oil and rose. I'm assuming they maybe cut the rest off. But yeah, I'm excited to try this little thing out. Um, it's good when you get little sample sizes because then you know what things are like. And then, like I said, I am gonna show you the um, gift pack that I have purchased as a gift um, and again I don't know who it's going to be for but someone lucky is going to get this in my family. So this is the Northern Lights gift pack which let's just talk about the packaging. One of the most amazing things about Lush, let me say if any men are watching this, I don't know why a man would be interested in a Lush haul by me but whatever. If you hate wrapping, get your girlfriend or wife or whoever your significant other is, get them like a Lush pack because they'll love it. They smell amazing and it's already wrapped. You don't even have to wrap it. How awesome is that? So like I said, it's the Northern Lights pack and inside you get one Shoot for the Stars bath bomb, which is that blue one I talked about. Oh, it's, it's got a little bit more info on here. It says honey scented sparkles of Brazilian orange and bergamot waltz in a swirling cobalt sky. Ooh. You also get the Northern Lights bath bomb, which I showed you as well. Um, that one says, witness streams of starlit color while you wrap up in evocative jasmine and ylang ylang chia. And then the last one is the intergalactic bath bomb, which I don't have. I have had in the past though. And it's amazing as well. It smells divine, like everything. Like, I don't think I've smelled a Lush product that I don't like. Like, there's ones I prefer, but I don't think there's anything that I don't like. So this one just says, this awesome mix will have you hooked on a feeling. Be a guardian of a galaxy as it explodes in your bath. I hope that none of my family or anyone's watching this that I'm probably going to give it to. If you are, I'm not going to give it to you anymore. Might just keep it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So guys, that is everything that I purchased from Lush this time around. There will be many more Lush hauls to come. Many more videos of me trying to explain what a scent is and failing miserably. 
But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave your favorite Lush product down below for me so that I can try it next time. Um, I'm always up for Lush suggestions. Lush suggestions. So yeah, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm already out of breath. Oh, was the saying, you have a bath with your significant other. Oh, Lush. <coughs> Me and my itchy nose. Okay. Oh, I'm so sad. I didn't think of doing this before. Oh my god. This one smells or sounds like it's. What am I even saying? Excuse me, I'll just play with my hair for a minute. So, Twilight is. You also get the. Doggy. Everything smells so good. I don't think. Oh.